It's just, I don't know, this persona, it gives so much energy, and it's a good energy. It, it gives me peace to listen to him. And tonight, uh, Sandy will speak dream and subconscious. She had a dream about me last night. She's dreaming about me. I was like hysteric. <laughs> <laughs> With teenager-like enthusiasm and, and anticipation and curiosity, I was immediately on the cloud nine. And I was enjoying the smooth ride in that dreamy bubble while she held my hand and continued that she had a dream about me that I had lost my job. I immediately came down from cloud nine to the ground without a parachute. And you know how much it hurts. As soon as I reached home in New Delhi, I uh, logged on to my email and found that there was enough, indeed enough bombardment and landmines to push me towards uh, losing my job. And uh, 2003 was the toughest year of my career, and I was, but I was able to save my job. And I am grateful, I've always been grateful to my dream girl for forewarning me and helping me save my job. But are dreams true? We all ask, are dreams true? Without going too much into the science of it, I can say that dreams are usually our subconscious mind working in our sleep. People like Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison are known to sleep on it when confronted with a big problem or an important decision. There is a school of thought which says that Elias Howe, who, who invented the lock stitch sewing machine, invented his uh, machine in his dream. He was struggling for 10 years to perfect his machine when he had a dream that he has been captured by cannibals. And these cannibals told him that he will die a horrible death if he didn't resolve the matter. And as he was sitting inside that cooking pot, <laughs> waiting for being bo uh, boiled alive, he glanced up and he saw the spears coming on to him and he saw that small hole at the end of the spear and he got the idea and he put the hole in that needle and there the lock stitch sewing machine was born. But why couldn't we, we also dream? We also dream and we also have a lot of ideas. Why couldn't we uh, create something like this or invent something like this? And I believe the difference is that Thomas Edison or Albert Einstein or Elias Howe kind of people don't have an eight-hour job next morning. They can dream and sleep whenever they want. <laughs> so, but I, I would like to give you a couple of more examples to combine this subconscious mind and dream. I don't rely on alarm watch, alarm clocks. Whenever I have to wake up, just before sleep, I tell my pillow to wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, if you can try it at home, anytime you don't, just try it and say to your pillow like this, pretend this is your pillow and say, my pillow, please 
wake me up at 5.30 a.m. if that's what your goal is. Repeat it three times. <laughs> and I'm sure Pillow will wake you up, whether you use please or not. <laughs> I'll give you another example. Last Monday meeting, I was asked to uh, record the speech of Franz and Neil by Curtis. I brought my camera and I kept staring at it. <laughs> I went back home without recording it. And I realized my mistake when Curtis came in my dream and asked for the speech. <laughs> and I, and it's true, Curtis, and I came, I, as soon as I wake up, woke up, the first thing I did was to send an apology email to him. <laughs> and you can check, you can check the time, it was 6.30, I wake up and said, I don't know, I made a mistake. But in the last few minutes, we have seen so much of a connection between subconsciousness and dreams that it seems very easy. But it isn't. We need to fill our mind, subconscious mind, with a lot of positive thoughts and imagination. Imagination can take any moment in time and let our mind fly. There are no limits except for what we put on ourselves when we imagine. But when we Im combine imagination and dreams together, the places we can go are simply magical. We may dream of being an actor, a singer, a novelist, or winning this speech contest. Some dreams are obtainable, such as this, and some are not. But never give up your dreams. Change them, delete them, or don't delete them, give, give up them. And for <laughs> dreams are what make us human. Thank you very much.